So we're carrying this 32 foot over here. We're gonna set it up at the top of this peak. Ooh. Yeah, one foot, one person at the base standing Stay while one on person lifts it up. Okay, let's just um. Yeah, right. Oh, you're uh. That's how you lift the ladder. That's how you lift the ladder. Oh, so, we did the renewal. Maybe it's a service call. If you notice, we got these ridge clips all the way up top. One of them's yeah, popped mm -hmm. up. Not there. In fact, I don't even think there's a ridge clip up there. Is there? That one might be missing. I think we need a ridge clip. That's why it's like that. Sure. We were short. So Devin, why don't you go grab us a ridge clip? And then, so there's two ways that we can get up on this roof. One way is we could take a 28 foot ladder, set up your stabilizers on the fascia of the house and hop up there would be one way. Uh, another way is you could go up there or walk up there. Are you gonna walk up there in barefoot? Probably not, or not barefoot, but uh, you're gonna walk up there with no go? Likely not. It's uh, a pretty steep roof. Maybe if it's a brand new roof, you might be able to, but I'm taking the goat. The goat's awesome. So, how oh right, you get it up here is you just walk it up. I'm actually going to adjust this ladder over to the left a little bit. Notice it has this little wheel right here. That's how you walk it up the roof. Right there, because I'm gonna show you how to use the goat. Um, so I got the goat, it's extended. That little hook is on the other side of the peak now. So now I'm safe to walk up it, right? here this ain't coming down right so Poulter come over this side all of you come over here so now I'm safe I got my hands on this the whole time four feet <laughs> right I'm hanging on never let your hands go right your feet might slip right That's the whole purpose of this well, you're locked in here. I gotta rest. I got my foot up here. I'm just chilling. Right? Um, when you are on this, it is imperative that you have some type of spotter down ground. If you're, on, if you're goading up to Mitzi's uh, thing right there, no questions asked. If someone's on a goat that high and someone's installing bulbs, I want someone on the ground. We gotta have an, it's, you know, it sounds bad, but you gotta be safe. Like if I were to fall off this roof right now, where am I going and what am I doing? For sure. In this specific instance, I have the goat. So if I slip and fall, I am grabbing this goat with all my life. That is gonna be my lifeline. Worst case scenario, I slip and I don't grab the goat. I have someone there. What are you doing uh, in the event that someone falls off of a roof? What are you trying to save? Their head. Their head. You're not going to catch their whole body. Right? I think, and I, and I got to do a little bit more research on this. I'm just playing like, you know, there's a couple different ways. We can either 
tie off on the roof if you absolutely feel unsafe. So this is where I was talking about, like in this instance, if I just didn't feel comfortable, I would have a harness and I would have an anchor spot on the other side of the roof tied in somewhere. So likely in this instance, probably my deck post, right? Thrown over to the ridge, measured out enough line to where you don't hit the ground, right? If I do fall, let's say I do slip off this roof, and I don't have the gut, and I don't have the goat. I am grabbing everything. I'm grabbing that fucking gutter, and I'm trying to save myself dear life, right? I don't give a shit about the customer's gutter. You're trying to fucking save yourself. You also have the fascia and the little uh, little lip right here. This is going to be your lifeline too. You grab onto anything and everything. Obviously, if you're in the middle of a uh, roof, you don't have this. Um, but you can always uh, grab onto that. So, going up here, give me the wall. Up here. Devin, will you turn on the lights? Yep. <laughs> that one okay, says now I'm no. heading down. Got my foot here. Now I can just sl slowly start walking down. I'm using these little lips as like little edges. Again, I got three points of contact. Actually four. You should have three at all times. You're going to always lift a hand or lift a leg, right? Every single time. Every single time. Okay. You take it off. Come back down. safely down. This is fixed, so we gotta fix that. But we also notice what other ones, I mean, everyone kind of looks good. I see two of them that could be fixed. Mm -hmm. You seeing that, Ethan? I want you to come back, come back on the back side of my house. You guys see where the goat ladder is right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you can't use the goat in the middle of the roof. Otherwise, it doesn't attach to anything, right? You got the ridge where the two things, there's no ridge where that dormer is. So you got a ladder up to the back. Well, it's important like when you're setting up your goat to really make sure you have that pitch on both sides. Because right. if you were to look at my house from the front and you didn't know my house, and you were to just go up to the goat, it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't even hook on to begin with, but it's just important knowing that, like, when you use the goat, you gotta, gotta, gotta have right. a pitch. Adequate angle on both sides. Yep. yep. And obviously, you're not gonna use a goat on a less steep roof, because you're just gonna walk it anyway, so you don't right. need a goat. So it's always making sure you have that. So, um, come back in the front. Thanks, Scott, you're missing a piece of siding up there. I know, I need a fix. My brother said he's gonna fix it for uh, because I fixed, I cleaned his windows and he was like, I'll fix your siding. That was six years ago. All right, Ethan, your turn. You know what uh, things we need to fix? You gotta those. fix the purple in the middle and the purple on the end. Oh, yep, okay. So, what I would do in this instance is I want you, there's two ways to get up on this roof. The easiest, probably uh, best way is to take that 20 four foot onto the back of the deck and hop up on that dormer. Right. But for the sake of goat training, you could hop up on there, climb up on the dormer, that dormer's walkable. Right, yeah, no, for sure. Um, and then go ahead and just push it down. You'll see all the ridge lines, uh, ridge yeah. clips work. Push it down, make it look neat, do the same thing for the other one, and then you're gonna come back down. Ready? Break. Boom.
I see any other ones up here? Though? Yeah, middle, uh, purple one right here. Try to point it to heaven. It looks like it's that pointing towards the one. backyard. The orange one to the left. about that orange one to the right and you push it down. on there is we don't want to rip the ridge line out. So we gotta pull it up four inches and then kind of turn it. Yep. We wanna somehow pull it over there without ripping the wire. Push it like yeah, push it forward. There you go. And flip it. Perfect. Keep flipping it until you get the wheel on. Perfect. Slow her, bring her down, keep bringing her down, I'll drive her, keep bringing her down, keep bringing her down, keep bringing her down, keep bringing her down, I got it, you're safe to come down. Little bit of heat, lost her shit. Setting it there for now. Okay, Sometimes when you're on the uh, ridge of a peak, okay, when you're on a ridge, I'm sorry, not the ridge of a peak, when you're at a ridge of a roof, um, there's uh, one instance where Pitched, there, we were just at a renewal the other day where it was like a really steep pitch, right? But there was dormers every like five feet. So it was a really steep pitch, dormer, 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 and he had lights on all dormers. When you're walking roofs on the ridge, a safe way to do it is kind of like almost as if you lay, like if this is the ridge, make a ridge for me. This is the ridge. You're almost like laying yourself down on both sides. Right. Not laying down, but you One have feet, uh, yeah, yep, you have your hands on this side and your, and your feet, feet on this side. Crab walk it. And you just crab walk it, right? Right. Just like if you were to go to belly first on a swing. I, yes, precisely. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right? But you're going to find instances where like, you just have to get to the other side of the roof and it just makes sense for you to do that. And you can crab walk those ridges super easy, even on like super steep pitches. Or, you know, and then like if you do it and you need a break, you know, you can just sit on top just of it, it and, and just hang out. You need a breather, whatever. You're waiting for a plug, waiting for something, for your partner chimney, to grab something. You just lean up against the chimney and chill. Yep, uh -huh. sure. All right. Any questions about the goat? Pretty self explanatory. Um, Gotta, gotta be safe. Ideally, when you're up 24 feet, 28 feet, and someone's on that roof, I want someone down to the ground. Ideally, right? What are you doing in the event someone falls off the roof and they're going trying fucking willy-nilly? You're cradling their head, right? Really? Like, that's what you're trying to protect. If you could stay alive, your, your head's gonna keep you alive. You know, so try to absorb that as much as possible. You're protecting that head. Hopefully we don't run into it, but we gotta talk about it. Sure. Mm -hmm. You always have an exit strategy anytime you're on a ladder, anytime you're on a roof. I'm on a roof. If I fall this way, where am I going? There's nothing but concrete. I want someone there. You're on a roof, there's a bunch of tree shrubs and bushes. If I'm falling, I'm gonna try to stumble into those tree shrubs and bushes. Right. They got a pool right there. I'm aiming for that pool. I'm fucking jumping right in that pool and doing a cannonball. <laughs> I don't care if you got a cover on or not. I'm just going in. So let's say we needed to harness and tie down. Super sketchy. And this is it's, like this is not a sketchy situation. But let's say, house. let's say if we did, we kind of already talked about it. They make guns for shooting ropes. I'm serious. Here 
Huh? Not that thing. No, the actual foundation post for it. The actual foundation post, and you can wrap it right around there. And then you take that rope, throw it on the other side, and you'd throw enough to where it doesn't hit the floor, obviously, because that's what we're not trying to do. Right. Um, and then you tie yourself up. Okay. Um, if you didn't have a deck, you know, there's just, you're tying into something. Trees, car. Car. Usually fence posts are cemented into the ground. Yep, so those I are trust that. Very well. Yep. Uh, every once in a while you'll find people who cement their trampolines into the ground. Yep. So you can always use that. Verify that though before. Yeah. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Go back up. <laughs>